some smiling faces here, and it is also the 60th anniversary of Glamour Magazine's College Woman of the Year competition, and we have one of this year's winners here, environmental activist Destiny Watford. We are so happy you're here. Happy to be here. First things first, I remember applying for this and not getting the Glamour, so congratulations. This is a tough one to get, um, and, and you're, you're a woman after my own heart. You saw that there was a huge, the, the country's biggest trash incinerator going into this, the city near you, and you stopped it or helped to stop it how yeah I mean I'm just one of like a ton of people that worked on this project but the, it was a four-year struggle of people students parents teachers residents coming together to stop the incinerator and the result of that on the ground work was that we won mm -hmm. and I'm a big pusher of you know the, the air and water that we breathe and drink now is the important part that's what we have to focus on right. how do you get people motivated how do you keep people going I think it's just what you said like for the incinerator in particular everyone breathes the air so if it's toxic our survival is at risk and I think on another level it's also a basic human connection of having conversations with people building that relationship around an issue that affects all of us that's why she won the scholarship people <laughs> and the glamour magazine so so much more to come with you destiny